Well, hello, fellow champions. It's me, Johnny, the champion within, coming to you today with another video. Uh, just want to thank everybody for supporting me. And look, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, but you're watching my content, please hit the subscribe button. Help a brother out, if you will. I've got thousands of people watching my videos and only 1,600 subscribers. So if you're watching my video and enjoying my content, go ahead, if you will, hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell notification because the videos are going to be somewhat sporadic as my work schedule is kind of all over the map and I work 12 hour days well actually I work 11 hour days but I leave I leave at 10 30 in the morning I don't get home to 10 30 at night so it's a 12 hour day not a lot of time to shoot and edit videos but I'm off today today's Friday and I want to show you guys what my beautiful wife bought me uh, just about a week ago or so I put it together and get ready to use it for the first time check this out my wife bought me my very own griddle four burner griddle we got this thing at Sam's Regular three, uh, I think two ninety nine. We got it for one ninety nine, and uh, man, I love this thing. First time I've had a griddle like this, so I can cook my burgers and my ribeyes right here outside without stinking up the whole house. I got some bacon I'm gonna cook, and uh, let me get started. I'll show you guys this thing, man. This is awesome. My first time using it, so I'm really excited. Check this out. First burgers going on. First time ever. Listen to that sizzle, guys. Listen to that sizzle. Excited to cooking up some burger patties to have for work so that I won't be caught without something uh, nutritious to eat. So excited. Oh my god, it smells good already, y'all. I wish I had smell o vision. Y'all could smell my food cooking here. Two more burgers to throw on here, real quick. Ooh, hot coming up the side. And there's my burgers. These wraps out of the way. Those are for later. Now, this is some of those uh, grass-fed ribeyes I got for $10.99 a pound. I bought the whole loin. We, they, they sliced it for me for free, and my wife packaged it individually in the in the vacuum uh, bags. So watch this. Ah, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, how exciting is this? Cool. Guys, if you don't have a griddle and you have a place to put one, consider getting one versus uh, messing up the house every time you cook. This is going to be amazing. This is going to be amazing. And it's going to be easier to clean. And hey, it won't stink up the house and smoke up the house every time I cook something. I got some bacon I'm going to cook in a little bit. But uh, anyway, guys, just wanted to share this with you. Now, let's get on to the rest of the video. So I'll give you guys a quick shot of a bacon. This is a whole pack of... Uh, thick cut bacon that I got. It was $4 off a pack, so I bought two packs of it. This is just one. I'll do another one on another day. But man, this thing is awesome. I am in love with this griddle. This is going to help me prepare my food to take to work so that I'm not tempted to go somewhere and, and cheat on my diet. This is going to help me stay, uh, you know, committed to myself. Thank, thank you, my wife. I'm not going to say her name. She doesn't want her name on here, but thank you so much, wife for this uh, this amazing gift. It's really gonna make a difference in my health going forward. And I love you and I love it. Now, back to the video. Okay, y'all, it's Saturday. It's about 5, 15 in the afternoon. I'm on my lunch break from work. I'm working 11 hours today. So I got about 20 minutes I can kill. I'm here at Vietnam Veterans Park. I'll show you some duck footage here. This is for my friend Rick, Charger Mopar. On YouTube, Rick's been carnivore for about 40 years. Give old Rick a, uh, a like and a subscribe on his channel, Charger Mopar. Those ducks are for you, Rick. Anyway, guys, I'm going to see if I can get some sprints in out here. I'm not going to do barefooted sprints. I'm just going to take my shirt off, get some vitamin D. And I left my tripod at home, so if I can figure out how to uh, jerry-rig this camera on this tree behind me, I'll get some footage of me doing some sprints on my lunch hour here on uh, Saturday. So, stand by. So cool, I got the camera wedged between uh, two of the branches and I'm gonna see if I can get some sprints in and let you guys see it. Let's go. Get a little resistance from the wet ground. Do some more. I saw a... Uh, a statistic the other day that said um, like 95% of the world's population 
after the age of 25, they never sprint again. I ain't, I ain't them guys. I'm a sprinter at 57. That was a short one. Let's get a long one. Well, hello, fellow champions. It's me, Johnny, the champion within, coming to you today from another beautiful county park here in Cabarrus County, North Carolina, Concord, just outside of Charlotte. This is Frank Lisk Park. I'll show you the sign right here. And I'm out here today. It is Tuesday. I've done my first day off in, in a while. So I worked 60 hours in the last seven days. I worked a three 10 hour days. Then I had a day off where I had to do my taxes and I uh, assembled the um, uh, griddle that I showed you guys at the beginning of this video. So that took a while to get that thing assembled, set up, use it for the first time. So first time I've had to get out and do some sprints. We've had some, some good weather and some bad weather. Today is really good weather. It's 81 degrees out here. We got some sunshine. So I'm gonna do some sprints. I'm gonna be barefoot so I can get some grounding in. I'm gonna take my shirt off and try to get as much vitamin D because the sun is out good today. Uh, but I gotta kinda hurry up and get this done because we've had the good weather sun and the bad weather rain. And now my grass looks like this. <laughs> so I gotta get these sprints done and then get home and get on started on that grass. But don't sleep on yard work as a way to get some exercise in. Pushing that lawnmower and that thick grass is a, a bit of a workout. So I'm gonna cut the grass today. I will probably have to cut it again tomorrow because it's so high and so thick. I don't believe I can cut it all at one time. So I'm gonna shave some off the top today, shave some more off tomorrow, and then hopefully we'll have the yard look in tip top shape getting ready for, you know, this warm weather here. But let's get some sprints done. I'm gonna do 10 of them today. Yes, I'm gonna push myself and do 10 and then go home and spend a couple hours doing yard work. Anyway, stay tuned guys, let's get this done. Grounding, sprints, and some vitamin D in the sunshine. Let's do it. So obviously when you're doing sprints, you wanna mix it up. Don't do the same length every time. So I'm gonna do some short sprints, some intermediate sprints, and then some longer sprints, but we're gonna get 10 in. And uh, lots of great sunshine, getting some of that vitamin D, getting back to nature. Bare feet touching the ground. I'm ready. Let's do this. Sprint number one. Sprint number two coming up. Hey. So about this time, as I'm working on editing this video, uh, I don't know if my internet is slow or the computer is slow, but I've been at this for about four and a half hours editing this one video, and I've got to get some other stuff done. So let me just say this. I finished my 10 sprints. I felt amazing. Then I came home and I actually walked about three and a half miles. So kind of did a 5K, a little bit of running, a little bit of walking. Really enjoyed that. Uh, didn't get on the grass. I got to get the grass done today. Today is Wednesday. Uh, I'm off today and tomorrow, but I can't spend any more time trying to edit this video. I've got to figure out what my computer issues are. I don't know if I got to clear the cache or cache file in the computer or whatever, but my challenge, and I didn't get to put this on there. Hopefully I can get it on maybe the next video, is any carnivore or keto or ketovore, any person in the low carb space that's 50 years of age or older, that would like to challenge me to a sprint race, uh, let me know. Let me know in the comments below or hit me up on Facebook. Let's get together and have uh, maybe towards the end of the summer, we'll have a race, a 100-yard dash or 100-meter dash, and uh, we'll pump it up and get some, some interest in it, and we'll get out there and see who's the fastest. So if that's you, if you're interested in watching or interested in competing with me uh, in a 50- or 100-yard dash or 100-meter dash, uh, that would be awesome. Let's do it. I want to see everybody getting out there, getting busy, moving, jogging, sprinting, whatever it is you can do. Uh, let's see our best health from, you know, 50 forward. Anyway, guys, that's all I got. I love you. Thanks for watching. And remember, carnivore, baby. Yeah.